Welcome everyone, it's Mattimus. Thank you so much for joining me on this video today. I really do appreciate you stopping by and taking a look. So in today's video, we are talking about the one, the only, T-14 Armata main battle tank. Now, this is a video that I've put off for quite some time. A couple of reasons for this. First of all, there isn't really that much out there in regards to technology information about this vehicle. A lot of it is quite classified. We know the basics, we know the main principles of the tank, uh, the systems that are put in place, but that really in terms of you know the exact technicalities of how they work are obviously going to be kept quite confidential to the Russian military and fair play to them, so they should. This is a, um, you know, a major milestone for the Russian military. It's a new tank system completely overhauled for the most part and a very new concept for their uh, main battle tanks and actually it's very 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 interesting to me the second reason i've kind of been putting off this video for a little while is i really want to try and get uh, the video to perfection and try and make it as good as i can for you guys because there is a lot of t14 armata footage out there a lot of t14 armata videos that people have put out um, and obviously a lot of it it's going to either be in Russian or it's in the robot voice that everybody for some reason turned their videos into and they want to talk like a robot and again I totally get it maybe they just don't want to put their voice on there but this is going to be a overview video of the tank itself now this is not a comparison video guys please please take it with a pinch of salt this video is not to say that the T14 is worse or better than any other vehicle or platform out there it is purely a video to kind of discuss the tank some of its key features Features and the new concepts that the Russian military have put in place on this tank, which I find absolutely amazing um, and I really am highly impressed. That being said, I am going to put a couple of things and my own personal opinion into the video because I like to discuss about tanks and I like to put my own thoughts and opinions on the actual tank itself because at the end of the day, um, I enjoy tanks. I love them. I'm very passionate about them and I like to give my thoughts on them. That's not saying that that is fact or true or it's 100% hearsay. It's purely just my opinion. So please take this video with a pinch of salt uh, and don't come diving in on me, both Western and Eastern world beating up this video to death because something you don't agree with. I totally get it. I totally get that you may not uh, side with what I'm saying, but just take it with a pinch of salt and I really hope you enjoy the video. So let's quickly go on an overview of the main battle tank first. The Armata is a new Russian main battle tank project, however it has been going on concurrently for a few years. It's also referred to, obviously, as the T-14. It is a development commenced in about 2011 as to where it started, and the Amato was developed as a replacement to the cancelled T-95 main battle tank. The whole project was kept in high secrecy. The first mock-up was revealed to the Russian military officials in 2013. Trials commenced in around 2014, and the new main battle tank was first publicly revealed in 2015. The first batch of 12 to 32 pre-production tanks were also delivered to the Russian army in 2015. However, soon after the 2015 Victory Day Parade, these production tanks were returned to the manufacturer for improvements and further testing. The Russian army trials are expected to begin this year, and this tank will be fully adopted and in full-scale production beginning roughly 2017 to 2018. It is planned that the Armata will replace the aging T-72, T-80, and T-90 tanks, although the T-90 really isn't that outdated. The Armata is a new generation tank completely. It's a clean sheet design and a number of heavy advanced features. The tank has actually very little in common with the current T-90 main battle tank that is serving with the Russian military and with other older Soviet tanks. And actually it is the first Russian tank that's a truly new production tank since the T-72, as that was adopted back in the 1970s. Design of the Armata now focuses on heavier armor and cruise survivability. The exact technical specifications of the new Armata are quite classified, and that's going to be quite obvious, guys, because at the end of the day, this tank is going to be their forefront in armoured battle groups now. They're going to want to make sure that Western worlds and any other kind of countries do not get the technical details of this vehicle. Obviously, the Russians have put a lot of effort into making this tank a new and highly sophisticated weapon system, and the last thing they want to do is release all this information to um, the public and out to you know forces around the world to potentially counteract and engage it back. Uh, it makes complete sense. It's such a shame because we aren't able to know, you know, the full specifications of this vehicle, but completely expected. 
Now, the new tank is much bigger than the T90. It's nearly as big as the Leopard 2A7, and that's just about all we know in terms of its specification in length and height and such. Uh, it weighs around 48 tons. Its length gun forward is 10.8 meters. Its hull length is about 8.7 meters. It's about 3.5 meters wide and about 3.3 meters tall. Um, its armament is a 125 millimeter smoothbore gun. We're not too sure exactly if it can have anti-tank guided weapon systems placed on it. Uh, it does have one 7.62 machine gun and uh, we're not sure of its elevation range. Uh, obviously its traverse range is 360 degrees. Apparently the ammunition load that this can carry on its main gun is 40 rounds. Again, we're not sure whether or not it can be capable of firing anti-tank guided weapons. It does have a machine gun uh, load of around 2,000 rounds, but I mean that's just estimated. It can probably have a lot more than that. The T-14 is operated by a crew of three men, including commander, gunner and driver, and this is in line with Russian tank building concepts of today, that the tank should be operated by a smaller crew in order to reduce its dimensions and weight and improve crew protection. With this being said guys, please feel free to check out one of my previous videos in regards to auto loaders and manual loaders and my opinions on that. It's a really cool video um, and a lot of heated discussion in the comments section on there. Uh, but the Armata does lack its loader as the gun is auto loaded by its main auto loading system. It's worth noting though that most western main battle tanks do have the crew of four and it does have its pros and cons. And like I said before, feel free to check out my other video. The Amata might be one of the most protected main battle tanks in the world currently. It does have highly new developed base armor made of steel, ceramics and composite materials. Now this is quite common in most main battle tanks. Also, the Armata has the new Malahit add-on explosive reactive armor that is claimed to be of a new generation for Russian military equipment. As usual, this main battle tank is fitted with nuclear, biological and chemical protection systems and an automatic fire suppression system. It has been reported that the Armata will be fitted with the new Afghanit Active Protection System. It also has new countermeasure systems that reduce the chance of being hit by anti-tank guided weapon systems with the semi-automatic guidance. This new Russian tank also utilizes new smoke grenade discharges of a brand new design. All crew members are seated in a well-protected armored cell, and this is a new concept for Russian armor. It is separated from the automatic loader and turret system and ammunition. With that being said, the tank does have high resistance to damage. It can operate even with penetrated armor, so long as it does not hit the crew cell. It is the first production main battle tank with such a crew layout with the three-man team in the cell. The Armata is also the world's first production main battle tank with a completely unmanned turret. It is armed with a 2A82 125mm smoothbore gun. This new gun has improved ballistics comparing with the 2A 4.6 M gun of the T90 main battle tank. The gun is completed with a fully automated autoloader system which can manage up to 40 rounds into the gun. The tank is capable of firing the gun launched anti-tank guided missiles in the same manner as ordinary rounds. These missiles do have a range of up to about 5 kilometers and can also target low flying helicopters which is clearly very very important and something I was quite interested in learning more of but unfortunately there isn't much information. There's also a remotely crewed weapon station on top of the vehicle, armed with a 7.62mm machine gun, but probably would be upgraded to a 127 This weapon station also functions as the commander's independent thermal site and gives the tank a hunter-killer capability, again very standard with most tanks nowadays. The Amata main battle tank is also fitted with a new fire control system, very modernized and very updated for its day. It's also equipped with a battlefield management system, pretty much kind of like a laptop slash GPS all combined into one for the commander and gunner's workstation, and they are both identical. It has been reported that this new main battle tank is powered by an A82 2 turbocharged diesel engine developing around 1200 horsepower. It is a new generation engine that is much more compact than previous Russian tank engines. The engine is located at the rear, and the Armata has about 7 road wheels on each side. It also has built-in self-entrenching blade and can briefly prepare itself for a firing position. From the earliest stages, the Armata was designed to be a versatile platform for the whole host of armoured vehicles. A number of specialised vehicles, such as self-propelled artillery systems, heavy infantry fighting vehicles, armoured recovery vehicles, heavy flamethrower systems, engineering vehicle, self-propelled air defence vehicle and other support machines are planned to be based upon this platform. Some of the variants that we know about are the Heavy Infantry Fighting Vehicle, also referred to as the T-15. It was first publicly revealed in 2015 and this vehicle can carry up to 6 to 8 fully equipped troops. 
It is one of the most protected, if not the most protected IFV claimed in the world as of right now. The Armata tank has a rear power pack arrangement exactly the same as the T-15, and this became an issue for some designers in order to make troop compartments for the rear of the vehicle. So the Armata infantry fighting vehicle was swapped front end with the rear. It's driving backwards comparing with the original Armata main battle tank. There's also the armoured recovery vehicle and it is referred to as the T-16 and there was a prototype of it completed in 2013. It has been reported that these batches of other vehicles and models will be concurrently produced in the background until later dates. Just as some added information in the background here in regards to the T-14's combat capabilities, this is just a small video demonstrating some of the features that will be available for the T-14 Armata. Obviously now has a 12 km engagement range, and this is all kind of subjective information. Uh, this video kind of describes the certain features that it could potentially have and how these features work. A lot of it's in Russian, but it's been translated into English as best as possible. Uh, so obviously we know that the uh, main gun and the machine guns are obviously quite similar to the other vehicles, apart from the 125mm gun. We have the obvious three crew uh, with the driver gun and commander and a separated turret in the uh, bigger capsule, which is going to be really nice to protect against that frontal sloped attack. Uh, from only penetrators which is really interesting to have. Uh, it does have the Malakit and Afghanit uh, defensive system which is going to protect 360 degrees around the tank from any incoming projectiles. Inclusive of that there is an infrared cloak to prevent from uh, potential lasing and such and an automatic detection and target locking system to prevent any kind of projectiles actually coming within range of the tank which is really you know very very interesting considering recently I just did a video on the brimstone missile and how it could potentially knock out armored fighting vehicles. It seems nowadays that things are starting to come into place that are deterring these particular projectiles actually hitting the tank before they even get there which is really interesting to see. Um, clearly then the fighting range of this tank is increasing with the new uh, missile systems that they're trying to put in place in the main gun which is really cool to see. Um, also kind of worrying though for, for NATO members I'm sure seeing this kind of technology coming out because they're being counteracted each and every time you know someone's bringing something else out and something's bringing something else out it's kind of you know an ongoing battle with uh, technology right now but still very interesting to see. So there you have it, the T-14 Armata, and in my eyes quite an impressive main battle tank for the modern world. Uh, very interesting to see the Russian military have stepped away from the old school Soviet bloc uh, main battle tanks now, they've actually gone from scratch and it's really impressive to see, I'm kind of intrigued at the different systems that have been put in place. Unfortunately though I can't give you much more information because as I said before it's kind of classified and not been released to the public. So on that end I'm going to end this video and uh, I once again really do appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, please if there are just any mistakes or misinformation in this video please feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I will annotate that in the descriptions box for this video. I appreciate you stopping by and watching, I hope you enjoyed seeing this tank in all its glory. Thank you so much again, all the best and have a wonderful day. 